Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel Bookshelves and Beyond. My name's Lacey. Hello. I have got a unboxing, a book haul for you all today. I have accumulated my subscription boxes from January and I'm ready to show you guys what we get and I'm very excited. I am also very sad to announce that this is my last Afterlight box. I haven't really been subscribed for that long. I think I've owned, this is my third box, but the reason why this is my last box is because they have removed the items from it. So we now no longer get items in there and it's also monthly now, but they didn't reduce the price. So we're paying the same for just one book now. And also it's monthly so it's a bit along with the other box the other boxes that i pay for because i pay for this all myself it's a bit much maybe i'll do it again one day very low i'm gonna do a romanticy box at some point i think in march or something i have already signed up for the waiting list for that as soon as that comes out i'm definitely gonna be signing up for it i'm gonna get right into this because this is actually gonna be really on the video because i cannot stop chatting away so i'm gonna get started and i'm gonna actually start with the illumicrate stuff and then we're gonna do the fairy loop stuff afterwards. Kicking it off now with my last ever afterlight box, and like I said, they're keeping the same price, reducing the items, and they're now making it more frequent. So it's just a bit, a bit much for me. January 2024, Spite Me. So the box is called Spite Me, and the book is at first spite by Olivia Dade. And then we also get a really cool art card. So here's the card that we get in there as well. It's actually got the letter from the author on the back, which is there. But I really like this artwork. And I'm guessing that these are two of the main characters. Now I'm just gonna get the book out and see what it looks like, because obviously we already know what it is. So yeah, Love at First by Olivia Dade. And here's the beautiful front cover. I feel like romance books really suit having people on the front cover and then we've got on the back as well and then we've got the spine there and then we've got really cute sprayed edges so we've got that on the bottom and then we've got some strawberries which is really cute and then we've got that as well which is adorable that's the naked book it's just got like townhouses on which is really cool and then we've also got custom end pages as well which again I presume is the main characters of the book and I'm just going to show you the other side as well we've also got signature of the author there as well at first bite it's basically about a woman called Athena who has just split up with her fiance as a wedding present she's gifting him a house because they're no longer together she decides to move into the home herself turns out that her ex's big brother lives next door to her and is really really nice to her it, like helps her move in all that sort of thing and it goes from there this is like a ex-boyfriend's big brother romance is that a trope have i just made that up <laughs> is that an actual trope but that's basically what this is anyway and i am here for it the strawberries are everything this is calling summer vibes right here the strawberries and it's so lovely really cute little book and it's only about 400 pages just under 400 pages so i can't wait to get to this now we've just opened my last afterlight box which is sad i'm gonna now open my illumicrate box so as always in our illumicrate box we get a fantasy a well fantasy or sci-fi young adult in here um, and we also get loads of like other little bits in there as well They're really cool kind of items basically so i'm just gonna pop this open and see what we get in this one which i'm really excited for i can't actually remember what the theme is murder mystery january 2024 so we've got murder mystery there and then if you want to have a look at all the spoiler stuff it's all there for you and february's theme is caged hearts that sounds really cool going right in we've got a enamel phone grip Ooh which says the Ministry of Alchemy, Enchantments and Supernatural Entities. So that's that, if you can see that. Sorry about the light. So it's like one of those little phone grips. I actually still have one that we got from, I can't remember, it must've been a Lumicrate ages ago. 
this one. Absolutely love it. So this one maybe I'll put on my Kindle because I should really have one on my Kindle. The next item is a library stamp. Oh my God. I see people all the time having like little stamps and putting them in their books, which is a great idea. I think it's so sweet. So I'm really excited for that. So we've got a little the stamp thing, but it looks like we've got the little jelly stamp thing which has a picture of some gates with like ivy down the side and it says from the library of and then it's got a line down the bottom so that i presume when you stamped it you can put your name on it so you stick it on there and stamp it maybe i'll use it on my favorite books because then i won't unhaul them because that's my worry like if i unhaul them then someone's got a book with my name in it now really really cool moving on so we've now got, oh, it's an apron. We've got a little apron. How cute. I don't know if you can see that, but that's an apron. And it's got like bread and cupcakes. And oh, that is really, really sweet. Although, is that broken? I'm so confused. Why is it supposed to be like that? Oh no. This is like the neck bit, right? So you've got that bit, but it's like they've, forgot to stitch a whole side completely so i can't even use that <laughs> trust this to happen to me but anyway i did have an apron but it doesn't even work so it's just a bit of fabric now we are going on to hopefully something that works and functions like it's supposed to. So we've got the best stories are found between the pages of a passport. So we've got this like little booklet type thing. I hope that's so leather and like loads of pages on the inside. I don't know. The page is like really oily feeling, like really weird. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Let me check the card. It's a sticker book. So you can put your stickers in and then if you want to use your stickers, you just take them out. How cool is that? I mean, I don't have many stickers, but this is really cool actually. Then what I think is the final item and a very fitting item I might have to add is Crescent City bookmarks. So we've got Bryce. I'll have to use these, obviously. Then we've got Danica. I think there's Danica. And then Hunt. He looks really cool. He looks different than what I would have imagined, but still really cool. And then La Harbour. I think that's La Harbour anyway. No, I mean, I've got these completely wrong. And then we've got Rune. These are so cool. They're really pretty as well. And then that's, that's all we've got. I don't know which one to use now. Oh, so exciting. But yeah, so we've got these as well. And now I'm at the book. So I can already see the book through the bubble wrap and it looks very piratey and I do not like pirates. I can't stand pirates. Voyage of the Damned by Francis White. It is a very pretty book, I have to admit. I do love that foiling on the front. And then we've got the spine and then we've got the back. We can get murdered tomorrow, tonight we party. So that's on the back. And then we've also got stenciled edges. I'm still learning the difference between stenciled and sprayed. And then we've got a really cool art on the end pages. It's almost like a, um, a map of what room is what on the ship down at the bottom here, which is really cool. I like that. The back is the same. Oh, it's got a fish on it. I like that. And that's the side and there's nothing on the back. Let's check the signature. There we go. And there is the signature from Francis as well. In all honesty, I don't know too much about this book, but I do know it is a murder mystery set on a boat, like a, a ship, on a pirate ship, basically. I'm, I'm sure it's not pirate, as in like what we think of pirates, but it, it's on the ship. And they, the people on there are all magical, apart from this one person who I presume is the main character of the person that we follow in the story. And they have to try and figure out who's killing everyone, but they're the only one without powers. So that's what I think this book is about. Again, I don't know too much about it, if I'm completely honest with you. Something like this would not be on my radar a lot of the time. Now this is bad. 
a lot of the time I do judge a book by its cover and the ocean element is just a no for me but I might be pleasantly surprised I usually am with these books anyway I always love them no matter what they're about but I am genuinely excited to read this so I'm now going to go on to the fairy loot adult box and then we'll go on to the fairy loot young adult box with all the goodies in I don't really know what theming it actually no i do it's like regency and scandal or something no what's regency and scandal then is that the young adult book i can't remember this is star chosen i've just read it <laughs> This is Star Chosen. The book is City of Stardust by Georgia Summers. That sounds like a very me book. So we do have some art here first before I get out the book. And again, I presume that's the main character. And then we do have the letter from the author on the back. The book is, of course, it's City of Stardust, I already said that, by Georgia Summers. It's actually quite a thin one smaller than I was anticipating. Curses are made to be broken. I love the look of this book by the way. The colours, that holographic foiling is so nice and then of course we've got the edges as well there which is so pretty and then we've got custom end pages so that is the art that we saw just now on the letter from the author and then we've got a, another character on the back it's a reversible dust jacket so here's the naked book first again really nice foiling and then there's like the spine and it's a nice purple and then we have this really nice reversible dust jacket which i actually really like this i actually prefer the front cover but this is really really nice and it's quite shocking how nice this is for a reversible cover. So I believe this is about a family who keep on getting either killed off or taken away or something like that by something that happened like centuries and centuries and centuries ago. And one day a woman, a girl, has her mother goes to try and break this curse or something and she never comes home so then she goes to try and do the same thing there's like loads of gods and people with magical powers and she then comes close with one of the bad guys so it's like a enemies to lovers fantasy which i love i cannot wait to read this I say that about all my books. Final box of the vid. We're doing Fairy Lou Young Adult Box, which is all the goodies in. This one was Regency and Scandal. There you go. There's everything that we get. If you want to have a look. And then there is the art there as well. First thing we get is this really cute lunch box. Oh my god. This is so adorable now i actually work from home so i don't need lunch boxes but i think i'm gonna use this as like a, um, a wash bag because it's still got like lining in it which might be quite good for that but how cute is that and i don't know if you can notice if you can see rather it's got like little did you see that like little teapots and stuff on it how cute is that next thing I'm gonna put out is this a tote bag maybe we have another tote bag how cool would that be oh it's like a, um, an apron how funny is that that they both did aprons but it's like one of those half aprons you like put it around your waist instead of like covering your whole top but this one has pockets as well and I am happy to report that this one has both of its tassels in place no issues with this one that's so cute I love I'm so going to use this. Now I don't really bake often, but I want to because I love cake, so that's the only reason. Now we have a fragile enchantment brooch. Am I the only one that thinks brooch is the funniest word to spell? It's like brooch, but it's not brooch. Oh, that's interesting. So that's what it looks like. And that's a, it's a brooch obviously, but I presume that's one of the characters on it. Now, if I'm honest, I hate to be that person, but I'm never going to wear this. I'll probably display it somewhere, maybe. 
but I'm never gonna wear it and I haven't read the book actually so they could have done something cool but the character's face on it kind of throws me off a little bit I can't see many people wearing that if it's got a character's face on it maybe if it had like some flowers or like or something like that I would wear it but face is a bit odd so I'm not too sure about that anyway I'm being a pessimist let's move on to this the other lands plant pot this is a very odd shaped plant pot if i have to say so it's almost like a boat it's a boat pot so it says the other lands and that's what it looks like but it's got a hole in the bottom so it can go outside and it obviously saves me having to drill a hole in it myself it's a weird shape isn't it i don't know what i could get in here hmm have a think about that now we are to the bottom and as you all know by now we get tarot cards in every young adult fairy loot box the idea is that if you subscribe enough then you get a whole deck of tarot so we got these ones today i'm gonna go ahead and have a wild guess and say that these are characters from the book that we've got this month these are the tarot cards i love the artwork of these really really nice artwork and then that's not all folks that is not all we also get a fairy scoop so january 2024 fairy scoop so we've got loads of stuff about the author and a little interview type thing loads of stuff like that but we also get sneak peek of next month's theme which is a moth to the flame which is really cool and then we also get on top of that the bookmark for the month which is just the box art it's not focusing there we go and we also get art for the book yes so it is the characters the art that we got i'm in love with this and then we've also got the letter from the author on the back like always everyone does it now it's not a secret let me show you guys the book it is upside down there we go. Fragile Enchantment. Oh my god. I literally said about the brooch. Oh, I've never read the book before. This is the book. There we go. Anyway, so this is it. Characters on the front. Don't know how I feel about them being that big on the front. They're a bit weird. But I'm loving the colours. And then we've got a really cool spine there. And then we've got the back as well. We've got these really cool roses on the pages which is really really pretty and then we've got wow this book is really testing my femininity this is gorgeous look at that that is the nicest the nicest naked book i've ever seen so nice also got custom end papers as well and then there's the one on the bag here is the signature as well in its own little panel which is quite cool and then i did also notice a reversible dust jacket which looks a bit like that I like that side too. I, I always keep them on the side they're supposed to like the, the main side because there's always extra foiling and stuff and it makes it look better and whenever I try and do it myself the reverse way it looks terrible. I tried doing it with my Bonesmith book and it looked really bad so I had to change it back. But. So this book is essentially about a dressmaker called Neve who has a special power which she is able to weave into her thread when she is basically making clothing. She is tasked to make a wardrobe, well not a physical wardrobe, but the clothing in the wardrobe for a royal prince who is about to get married. Turns out that he's really cold and he's just not a nice person and they end up finding out they have some chemistry this one i'm gonna love i i know i'm gonna love this one already this one is really exciting so that just about wraps up my january 2024 book unboxing i was really happy with the majority of stuff that i got obviously i'm a little bit annoyed about that first apron being broken because I can't use that now and it's now a useless paperweight. It wouldn't even function as a paperweight. I'm really, really excited to read everything that I got anyway. And 
I did love everything. I am really, really happy about everything I've got. Make sure to let me know down in the comments what you thought about these boxes and what your favourite items and books were. If you've read any of these books, then also please do let me know. I'm really interested to hear your guys' reviews on everything, anything that I have here because maybe I will bump it up on my TBR. And make sure to follow me on all my social media. I always include it at the bottom and I always include it in the description as well. It would mean a hell of a lot to me if you guys go and follow me on my Instagram and TikTok as well. I like to post blind the TBR videos but I've also put them on my shorts as well so make sure to go check them out if you haven't seen them already. I really really enjoy doing those videos and being able to blindly pick what I'm what I'm gonna read next. I'm currently reading Some Desperate Glory. Is it Some Desperate Glory by Emily Tesh? I think that's what it's called. But that's what I'm reading at the minute and I'm also obviously reading House of Flame and Shadow but I'm taking my time with it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you if you are already here right now and I hope you guys have yet another fantastic week and as always I will see you next Sunday. Bye.